Hi, I'm Lucas Blakely, F1 Sim Racing World Champion for McLaren Shadow, and today I'm going to be taking you around a lap of the Bahrain circuit. Bahrain's one of my favourite tracks on the calendar, it's where I took my first F1 Esports victory two seasons ago in 2021 and also won there in last year's championship as well so the track I've won the most at, great memories, um, one of my strongest tracks and um, yeah, set up a good championship campaign last year. First sector of Bahrain is where you'll probably see most of the overtaking in action throughout the races. That's where I made the move for the lead on the last lap in 2021 to take my first win. And um, yeah, you often see quite a lot of side-by-side -side battles going into Turn 4, people making switchbacks, and it leads up for um, yeah, quite good racing and um, yeah, certainly a lot of fun to watch. So starting a lap of Bahrain, making sure you've got your DRS open, looking for your braking point now on the left-hand side. You're braking just after that left-hand side curve begins, feeding the car into the apex of Turn 1. The most important part is the exit, so no matter what apex you get at Turn 1, it's all about the transition through 2 and 3 that will make the difference in the run up to Turn 4. Braking just around the 100 metres, getting the car turned into the apex nicely. Circuit falls away from you a little bit there on the exit, but using the curbs to our advantage to open up the track. Again, using all the road we can, little bits of kerb on each side of the road, then to a very tricky right-hander, got to trail brake very nicely into there, using fourth gear, balancing the throttle on the exit, swinging the car over to the right-hand side. Now, taking a wide line on entry just to optimise the trail braking, trying to get the car into the apex. One of the trickiest corners on the track, the DRS open once again for this back straight, opening the circuit up onto the right-hand side, braking between the 150 metre boards. Winding on the power, rear end starts to suffer a little bit later in the lap. Using all the road as well just to open up the corners nicely. Down the gears, carrying a lot of speed into the final part of the lap. Just one more corner to negotiate now. Very easy to throw all of your lap time away that you've worked so hard to gain. Just breaking past 100 metre board, trying to get the car into the apex circuit. Well, falls away a little bit on the exit. Using all the road, DRS open and that is a lap of the Bahrain International Circuit. Being champion now, my approach I don't think really changes much. I mean, it's obviously nice to have, you know, that championship under my belt. You know, that's no one's going to take that away from me. That's always going to be my championship, which is something that you know I guess relieves a bit of the stress. Um, so if anything, it gives me, um, you know, a nice fresh mentality to go attack this year with because you know um, I really still want to win again. I don't like losing at all i don't i'm not a very good loser <laughs> so i um yeah i want to definitely continue to try and you know push forward to to win more um but i get to do that without the i guess the stress of not having won it i've now you know achieved it once i know i can do it um and yeah i can ap approach this year with a bit more freshness a bit more um yeah a little bit less um a little bit less stress in certain areas just from the fact that you know I've been there and I've now um, achieved that so I can now approach it in a bit more of a fresher way so I actually look forward to um, approaching it as the reigning champion and seeing you know seeing how well we can do this season. <laughs> 